he was encouraging. He was loving. He was a hardworking man. He had the same story as um, a lot of migrants do coming here, wanting a better life for his family. There were a lot of things Saul Longoria Sanchez was willing to do for his family. He is so grateful to have a job no matter where it was. Including working during the COVID-19 pandemic. When I called to let them know that he was sick and to let the rest of the employees know that he was positive for COVID-19, um, I got um, no response. It's been tough for his daughter, Beatriz Ranghau. He worked for JBS uh, 30 years and um, I've yet to hear from JBS. And so um, it's been very, very hard. Saul died on April 7th. My dad was 78 years old. He was in the, um, the older generation risk category. She says he trusted the company would take care of him. If they're essential workers and they have to be there, um, why are they not taking care of them by making sure they have the right uniforms? She agrees with the Farm Workers' Rights Organization, League of United Latin American Citizens, or LULAC for short, who are asking for more masks, tests, paid sick leave, and better communication with workers and their families. We expect that when it opens again, every worker will have a mask, will have uh, the plexiglass uh, and other sanitation efforts to deep clean the plant. Uh, and we're asking that every worker and the families of the workers be tested. Current JBS employees sent us text messages from the company on how they are prioritizing safety by increasing social distancing in the plant. But Kim Cordova with the workers union UFCW7 says that could be hard. There was little to no uh, PPE or any type of uh, measures taken um, to help workers with self-distancing in that plant, uh, which is almost impossible because workers in that industry work almost elbow to elbow. Cordova is frustrated because she says she's no longer hearing from the company. Since the media became involved and we started reporting, you know, up to a thousand workers a day calling in or calling off uh, sick or, or not reporting to work, uh, this is about within the last three weeks, the company has cut off all contact with us. Um, they're, they're barely responding to any of our emails. The CDPHE ordered JBS to shut down the facility starting Wednesday to be cleaned. That after reported deaths of employees of the facility from COVID-19. Three too many. Um, this could have been avoided if there were proper notices, if there was PPE in the plant. For Nine News, I'm Sonia Gutierrez. JBS says that it will be taking employees' temperatures when they come back to work at the plant and that they will be wearing masks as well. As for some of the paycheck issues that employees have complained about, JBS says they believe that that is a paperwork or a processing issue. They urged employees to call the hotline that we have listed in this article on 9news.com.